Hello, and in this month's episode of the Night Vision Show, we're going to be looking at the ATN Bino X. These are brand new smart HD optics night vision binoculars. They're capable of being used in day and night, and we're going to see how they perform in the field. Welcome to the Night Vision Show. This is the new ATN Bino X, it's got 4 to 16 times magnification, full HD. Built-in recording capabilities for taking videos and stills. Perfect for using for foxing at night or wildlife observation. We've got some footage over the past couple of days with these and if you want any more information, feel free to contact Scott Country International. Now, now they look like binoculars, but really one lens is infrared and the other is the actual focus. So, this is the built-in infrared here, so you can focus infrared from spot to flood using that, or you can just focus with this lens which is on the right hand side. Uh, now the ATN is like the, the Bino X is like the X thing. The buttons on the side here, well, on top, are the same ones that are on the X side. So you've got your power button at the top, you've got your menu button in the middle for selecting different functions. If you double hit that it lets you go into the menu. So one selects options that allows you to enter the menu. Two buttons at the front and back, they are for zooming in. Now, like the X side, the bino has got smooth zoom, so picture quality is, is never distorted when you're zooming in unless you get past a certain magnification. Then the picks then it becomes a wee bit distorted, but that's perfectly natural with a digital device. Now like the ATX Alt X8, also the Bino's got built-in recording capabilities, so you're able to take still photographs and record 1080p video with the Bino X. Now, if you use the button on the left-hand side, which is this button here, that allows you to capture stills. And if you use the button on the right-hand side, that starts recording video, and to stop recording, you just press the button again. It's that simple. Now. By the looks of the vinyl, if I take them off my neck, the eyepiece don't look movable. It, it looks like it's built for one face and one face only, but that's wrong. I mean, you can move them very easily to suit whatever width you need them. So for me, I need them quite wide, so they fit perfectly. Now, this vinyl X run on three CR123 batteries, and they are absolutely brilliant because you've got built-in altitude sensors, built-in velocity sensors, you're able to view footage and the great thing is you're able to connect to your smartphone or tablet using the app. Now, like the Excite, you're able to control different features which you're able to do on the Bino X as well and built-in GPS so you can, you can actually see where you took a certain photo or a certain video on a map. As you can see here, there's a rubber cap on the side here. If you open that up, that exposes three terminals. So you've got your micro HDMI port, which allows you to connect to your television using a HDMI cable. You've got your micro SD card slot, which allows you to use the built-in recording capabilities. Without that, it, it won't record or take stills. You've also got your micro, H, uh, micro USB port here. Now that it's like the one you'd see on an Android device like a Samsung or Sony. That so if you've got one of them, it's very familiar. That allows you to connect to your computer to download footage as well. But it also allows you to add an external power supply. Now we're going to find out more about that in more detail later on. Now what we're going to do is, now that we've discussed the main features of it, we're going to speak to the sales manager, Scott Country, who recently just got a huge shipment of them in. 
and he's going to um, talk to us about how the many different features work together and what the footage is like. So Paul, what's your thoughts on the Bino X? I found them very good. Um, initially, we found with ATN products, particularly the Excite, the IR illuminator that comes with them as standard hasn't been particularly great. A lot of people have upgraded to get better performance, but the IR unit in this is actually surprisingly good. For up to 100 metres, it fulfilled what we needed perfectly. Saw lots of really good footage with them. Um, we filmed rabbits at night, which you'll see later on in this episode. Um, Keith from Nocturnal Wildlife Tours um, also tested the binoculars during the day and got some superb footage of roe deer um, at Thiever State. So yeah, as, as a day-night binocular, they do exactly what they say they did. So Paul, what would you recommend to your customers um, to purchase with the binos to get the best performance out of them? On the bottom of the device there's a little tripod support and what we did is we attached a little weaver rail. Um, I think you've actually got something that we, we, we made up, Ian in our service department um, made an infrared illuminator kit which attached onto the bottom of the rail which gave the, a boost of power using the Nightmaster 800. Um, Laser looks RR5000 we used also and that made a big difference. So you know, eking out to 200 metres and we could see rabbits, we measured from the GPS mapping today and um, we measured out to 180 metres I think it was from where we were standing last night filming rabbits which is pretty remarkable remarkable using the Nightmaster. Built in IR, I would say up to about 100 metres, it's more than capable. Um, but yeah, we found them very, very good. Nightmaster 800 works well with it and laser looks IR 5000. So basically, all you'll need is an additional IR unit that you would usually have with a night, uh, night vision scope and a tripod mount and that's you set to go. Yeah, if you need to get that extra distance from them, a standard, they're Obviously, very, very yeah. good. Um, depending on what distance you want to get, but if you want to eat the best out of them, it's got a 1080p sensor, so your, your image resolution is superb. Obviously, we found when you're zooming in, it's 4 to 16 times, when you zoom in beyond the 8 to 9 times, you do start to see a bit of pixelation. When you're up to 16, it's very pixelated, but for seeing something at a distance, you can still make out detail. It's not completely unusable at that, but yeah, an IR illuminator does make a big difference to it. So, Paul, I I know we've talked about what you've been able to, what you'd recommend customers to buy with the binos. So, um, what price are the binos starting at? They're five hundred and ninety nine pounds at Scott Country. Um, we have them in stock now. We had a large shipment in yesterday, so we can deliver next day delivery to the UK. Um, accessories we keep in stock, um, such as infrared illuminators, batteries. We recommend buying a good quality CR one two three Energizer battery. And um, we sat a set running yesterday just with some cheap batteries inside, and it got about four and a half hours before the batteries were depleted. So for a cheap set, cheap set of batteries, that's not bad. Obviously, if you're using the onboard IR, that's going to drop down quite a bit. Um, so you know. Know, using an external IR does save a lot of battery life as well. So thank you very much for watching this month's uh, episode of the Night Vision Show. Um, ho I hope you enjoyed our review of the Bino X and we'll see you next month on the Night Vision Show.